We are going to look at acceleration and deceleration in a lateral bound and we're really going to focus on triple flexion and triple extension of the lower body. So we're going to use triple flexion to absorb force and triple extension to produce force. We want to make sure this is happening in the lower body and not in the spine. So we're also making sure we're maintaining a stable spine. So in this starting position, as you can see, we have a nice flat back, got a nice stable spine. And we are starting off in our coupling or our preload, and we have the ankle, knee, and hip are all in flexion. This is going to help to absorb energy so that it can be released. Think of a spring coiling. So we use that triple flexion as the spring coil. Now as we go into triple extension is where we actually get lift off. So I want you to look on the landings as we go into the flexion and then the push off as we get into the extension. Let's slow it down a little bit and look at it. As we get that push off, now we're starting to look at that extension of the lower body. So again, ankle, knee, hip, all come into extension. Whoop, random circle. <laughs> and what we're looking for is a nice straight line through the leg. And that is gonna be your acceleration or the uncoiling of your spring to help produce force. When we go into the landing, so we have that triple extension, now you're gonna see we're gonna to start to go into flexion. So notice that foot hits the ground, the ankle is gonna flex first, and then we start to see the knee going into flexion and the hip simultaneously also going into flexion. And you can see how that lowering absorbs that force through the body. And then we go into extension, getting nice and long to unload that spring and start to produce force.